Did you know that an African country kingdom was once powerful enough to dominate parts of Arabia? Hi, welcome to another episode of the Sankofa Pan African series. Uh, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel if you've not yet done so. Thank you. Today we're going to be talking about Aksum the African kingdom which once dominated Arabia. Now, Aksum was another important neighbor of Egypt, which was also a very powerful African kingdom. It occupied the highlands of northern Ethiopia during the early Christian um, era. Some of the ruins of the ancient city of Aksum have been found close to Ethiopia's northern border. They mark the heart of ancient Ethiopia when the kingdom of Aksum was the most powerful state between the Eastern Roman Empire and Persia. Even long after its political decline in the 10th century AD, Ethiopian emperors continued to be crowned in Aksum because of its importance. Aksum symbolizes the wealth and importance of the civilization of the ancient Aksumite kingdom, which started around the first century AD. The kingdom was at the crossroads of three continents, Africa, Arabia, and the Greco-Roman world. In command of the ivory trade with Sudan, Aksum's fleets controlled the Red Sea trade through the port of Adolis and the inland routes of the northern eastern Africa. Now, agriculture and animal husbandry were the bedrock of Aksum's economic life. Ships also brought and took cargoes in between Aksum and far-flung places like India and the Mediterranean world. In the interland, ivory was the primary commodity because it was gathered there for export to um, the luxury-loving Romans. By the time, by, by this time, um, armies were depending on elephants, which they used in the way that armored tanks are now used. Now, elephants were also hunted for their tusks. Other items traded in Axum were hippopotamus hides, um, rhinoceros horns, um, tortoise shell, uh, gold, slaves, and spices. According to H. de Contenson, the terrain had mountain slopes which were terraced and irrigated by water from streams channeled into fields. Cisterns and dams were constructed to hold water in reserve to irrigate farms where wheat and other grains were planted. Oxen plows were used for farming and the animal husbandry focused on large herds of cattle, sheep, and goats, while mules were used as domestic animals to cut things from one place to another. Although axomites were skilled in uh, capturing and domesticating elephants, they were, these were reserved for use only by royalty. They also engaged in crafts like blacksmithing and uh, the working of other metals, pottery, stone carving, masonry, and uh, timber construction. The Aksumite kingdom was one of the earliest in the world to mint its own gold, silver, and copper coins. It had a monetary system which was similar to the one in, uh, used in uh, Byzantium. At the zenith or height of its glory, the Aksumite Empire extended over rich lands of northern Ethiopia, Sudan, and southern Arabia. Aksum 
also had sovereignty over people who inhabited countries south of the boundaries of the Roman Empire. Aksum's sovereignty also covered the Sahara to the west and the inner Arabian desert to the east. Now, research indicates that by the 6th century, it had authority of large chunks of Arabia. And Aksum king was in the position of appointing Arabian kings like Mada, Madi Karib and uh, Sumaya at Himya and Ibn Harith at Nagran. Even more remarkably, at that time, Greek and Syrians were serving as royal slaves in the Aksumite court. Now, according to the courtesan, two examples of such foreign slaves were Adesius and uh, Fruentius. They both started out as royal slaves, but were later promoted to positions of wine pourer and secretary to the king of Aksum. This topic will be continued <laughs> in the next episode. Um, thank you once again for being part of this journey with me. It's a journey which is important for us in order to understand and reclaim the major role which Africa has played in the past and can, and which Africa can still play in the world. Please don't forget to subscribe, share our videos with your friends, and give us a thumbs up if you like it.